Hi guys, welcome to exam tips to uh, essay writing. So, in terms of the essays, they're normally asking you about the importance of something. So, like the importance of diffusion, inter importance of the interactions, importance of ions in biology, and so on. So, what do they actually want from you? They would like you to use your AO1 and AO2 skills. So AO1 is the use of uh, correct terminology, key terminology, correct A-level terminology, and AO2 is then to kind of explain your points and make a link between few topics. So AO2 comes with so what, how, and why. So why is your in, uh, why is your argument important here, and how can you link it then to your next paragraph and so what so how does it then explain the main topic of the essay question so you must remember that your essay has to be linked to the main essay topic using the vocabulary from the essay topic and it has to be integrated in between the topics that you've chosen so you need to choose in between four to five topics and then obviously make an outstanding essay. So we won't be looking here at the mark scheme for one to five and six to ten much because we're not interested in that. So ten marks, okay, you can get if you will provide some superficial A-level content, if you make a number of significant errors, when your terminology is a poor and if you've got only one or two topics related to the essay question, okay? But if you are aiming to achieve a bit more, oh, you see, you need to work hard. Uh, the, mm, the, 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 the average on the essay, it's here, it's in between 11 to 50 marks. And this is because the students are not interrelating their essays and they are not linking them to the main essay question. So here, if you've got some significant errors or if your content is not really well ex explained, so this is where your AO2, so what, why, how skills coming from, you will then be graded in the band between 11 to 15. But if your essay started to having some links okay to the main uh, question if there are some interrelations in between the points clearly explain so so what why and how you only make one significant errors and you are allowed to get one or two topics which are less uh, developed than the others then you are still looking for uh, around 18 20 marks to get them to the top band you cannot afford any significant errors your topics must be always clearly explained so why how so what use the a level standard terminology and you need to write a good essay using four to five paragraphs different topics from different parts of specification and if you would like to really get 25 marks, you can then read beyond specification, but this is only going to give you one mark. So you can get 24 marks if you're meeting those points. So 24 marks, it's really good if you can get it without reading beyond specification. So how you can then model your essay? Look for the five markers. So when you do your homework, when you practice for the past, uh, past paper questions, each topic has a five marker. That five marker could be used for your essay. That shows you the A-level standard te terminology. You then need to just explain it and link with so what, why, and how. So what the essay actually is, it's all about describe, so using the standard terminology and then explain, saying what your approach explains the main uh, essay question. So let's have a look at a few examples here. So the technique I would suggest to use, and probably many teachers told you that it's PEEL. So point, evidence, example, and the link. So point, a topic from specification, evidence, 
So referring to the essay question, give the example from your chosen topic. How does that actually cover the aspect and then link it, link it to your next paragraph. But what's more important, you need to link it to the main essay question. So let's have a look here. For example, I've chosen the diffusion. So that was 2017 paper, the importance of diffusion in living organisms. And using your point, uh, your peel here, as the point, you could talk about the diffusion uh, from the alveoli epithelium to the capillary endothelium. As the evidence about diffusion, you could be talking about diffusion gradient, about lungs, about respiring cells, about oxygen, about carbon dioxide. As the example then, could be the hemoglobin loading in the lungs, unloading at the respiring cells where the partial pressure for the oxygen is lower. But what I'm trying to show you here, too, because obviously we want to get out of this 15 band, it's the link. So how can you then link it? So you could say that the importance of oxygen diffusion, so look, I'm using the words from the essay question, okay? Diffusion from the blood capillary into the respiring cells is to deliver oxygen and then that link at the A level standard. So, why is it important then? Link it to something else. This is important because oxygen is a final acceptor of electrons and hydrogen ions during oxidative phosphorylation, which leads to production of ATP in mitochondria during respiration, aerobic respiration, okay? And then you need to link it, so you've got already the link to the essay question, but now your essay needs to flow. So your second paragraph has to start, for example, with this ATP, what you were talking about. So you could say that ATP is also produced during photosynthesis, and my point here to, to start talking about diffusion and link it back to my previous paragraph, it's like dependent reaction. So here what's the evidence of diffusion will be diffusion of hydrogen ions, chemiosmosis. The example then, example here will be the production of reduced NADP and ATP because that's what will be the product. Okay, so the importance of hydrogen ions diffusion during light-dependent reaction is essential to change the shape of the ATP synthase and leads to the synthesis of ATP, which could be used during glycolysis to phosphorylate glucose to make it more reactive so it can then uh, be converted and produce pyruvate, for example. Okay. So you link it at the A-level standard. Then obviously you're starting your next paragraph. So you start, we're talking about respiration. So glucose, as you could say, the glucose is the main substrate for respiration. Link it to the absorption of glucose. The evidence, blood glucose concentration. Okay, so again, concentration gradient. Example I'm going to use here, talking about glucose and absorption and diffusion. It's called transport facilitated diffusion and diffusion gradient again. But what's more important, linking. So the importance of facilitated diffusion of glucose into the blood increases its concentration in blood, but also increases concentration of sodium ions, which are needed to generate an action potential. Okay, so here I'm linking to another topic using this. So here I can then flow my essay to my uh, paragraph number four, saying that increase in the permeability of neural membranes to sodium ions leads to the polarization. Okay, and then I can talk as the evidence of the uh, action potential I could describe the whole process here. But my example, I could fo focus on hyperpolarization okay so uh, you could link it that the importance of diffusion of sodium ions and potassium ions to link hyperpolarization leads to refractory period okay what is the importance of refractory period this separates the nerve impulses so they cannot overlap so increase the chance of survival and unidirectionality so that obviously the action potential can be passed only in one direction 
okay so one more time obviously use your key terminology use your five markers but 